guys, we're back for another Dokkan Battle video. So we had a massive data download last night. Um, honestly, a little bit bigger than I was anticipating because typically right now, I guess I've, I've you know, noticed a pattern that they do slow down a little bit around this time, you know, just sort of in anticipation um, for the anniversary. And there were, like, more new characters in this than I was expecting, right? Because we know we have the big-time uh, dual Dokkan Fest characters coming, Goku and Boo. Now, where, like, how exactly good they are, I I'm not really too sure yet. I do think that they're within, like, the top two or three TURs, so both Kid Boo and Goku seem ridiculously ultra-powerful. I, I really... I I feel like after tonight, I want to say I like the androids as sort of the, the, the best TUR. I think they're just so crazy with the Ghost Usher and the nullification and all the stuff they do. I think Boo and Goku are then somewhere kind of like 2 and 3. And then I probably would almost have Super Vegeta at like 4. Um, but that's good. Uh, again, I, I like it better when they're releasing characters that are actually like moving the game forward and are, you know, ultra powerful, right? Like, you know, like... STR Cooler being, like, the best TUR for, like, a year straight was, like, stupid or whatever, right? Like, it's dumb. Um, but anyway, um, yeah, Goku and Buu are crazy. Absolutely incredible units. Goku, in particular, his leader skill is, like, really nasty. Um, actually, if we can go ahead, um, I did not pull it up. Um, but we have the category right here. Um, the category did end up being, um, exactly what I was anticipating, which is, it's sort of, like, the final fights of all the different, like, arcs and sagas, right? So, like, you know, the Universal Survival Arc, we got, like, 17 and Golden Frieza, we got Goku and Frieza, um, we have AGL, UI, and then we have Jiren, sort of, like, from that final battle, right? Um, you know, from Planet Namek, you know, we got Super Saiyan Goku, we got, you know, Full Power Frieza, um, you know, from the, the Kid Buu fight, you know, we got Kid Buu, we got the, the, the Goku, we have Angel Vegeta right there, you know, we have Gohan and Cell, you know, from their final battle in LR Gohan right there. Um, from the Shadow Dragon Saga, right? We got the Super Saiyan 4s, and, you know, Omega Shenron is in here somewhere. There he is right there. And we also have Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta, right? You know, the End of the Future Trunks arc has got Trunks and Zamasu. Vegito Blue slid in on here, which is good. Demon King Piccolo and Kid Goku are on here. Like, they actually did nail it, right? All these, like, you know, End of Sagas. Um, some of the ones I wasn't really thinking of, because I figured they probably would skip over the movies, which they did for this. Um, but because Resurrection F sort of has like a movie and a, uh, a saga and same thing with Battle of Gods, the blue Goku and Vegeta and Golden Frieza, um, and then, uh, Beerus and God Goku, um, actually did make it on here. So that's good. Um, so like this category looks pretty solid. Honestly, there's a lot of good characters here. And this is one of those categories where, you know, I, it's, it's got a lot of future growth to it too. So this looks like a very strong category. The only, I think, sort of like characters it's lacking at the moment um, is I, I do wonder why, um, well, I guess I guess Blue, Gogeta, and Broly, because it's a movie. I guess that's why, because right now Dragon Ball Super, like Broly is just a movie. Oh, okay, okay. Because I, I was thinking about that and I was like, they're the only characters, but it's because it's a movie. Yeah, I, th this, is a, this is a category, I think they actually did a good job here. I don't know that I really have an issue at all. I think they nailed it. Yeah, because that's it. They, they don't have any of the movies in here. And that's what Dragon Ball Super Broly is at the moment. It's only just the movie. So, okay, 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 okay. So, you know, if they ever do bring the anime back, right, and they do, they cover, like, the Moro arc or something like that, you know, maybe we could see Moro and Giant UI Goku and stuff like that. You know, we'll see um, what will happen. But the category, Fate Induced Battle, does look pretty good, which is, again, super awesome. Um, and then of course we've also got, you know, the accelerated battle like this, this leader skill is actually insane. This Goku, he might have the best leader skill in the game, like the combo, right? Like, you know, pure Saiyans is just so good, but like, dude, this has the amount of characters in these two cat, like these are two like big, robust, fat categories with a lot of different characters in it. Uh, this is an insane leader skill. Kid Buu, unfortunately... Um, I, I am not a fan. I really, like, I want the 170 attack and defense, which Goku has. Kid Buu does not. Kid Buu is a Buu Saga category leader, which is good. Um, right? Like, uh, the Majin Buu Saga did need a villain lead, which this Kid Buu is, which is good. But, um, 
Uh, I do not know. Again, both Kid Buu and Goku are also mega super good. Um, we have a lot of other stuff in here. Um, here, let me pull up uh, the actual units in the data downloads. Let's take a look at it. So there's a new Zenny statue, a Jackie Chun Zenny statue. We'll see exactly, you know, how that works, how we're going to get it. Um, as far as the banners go, um, the banners, which will drop in about 20 hours from now, um, with only two new units, Kid Buu and the Transforming Super Saiyan 2 into Super Saiyan 3 Goku. Um, I do anticipate this will be an easy top grossing for Dokkan. Not specifically just because of the amazing units or the amazing banners, but because the amazing sale. Dokkan typically has their best... JP Dokkan has their best sale of the year for New Year's. Um, so what happens is a lot of Japanese whales will clear out the sales, and then I think that they you know save a lot of it for the, seventh, the anniversary. I fully expect that's going to happen again this year. Uh, that's why PyCon got top grossing last year, right? And I think Goku and Kid Buu are going to get top grossing because a lot of people are going to pick up the sales and then, you know, wait to see what the 7th anniversary is. Um, we have these three free-to-play EZAs right here. Great Sandman 1 and 2, Gohan and Fidel, as well as Tech Supreme Kai. Um, we also have uh, the three crossover EZAs, Tiensha, Pinich, and Tekka. I literally have no idea. This is shame. Shame on you, Dokkan. The exactly the way Tiensha, Pinich, and Tekka are right now is what just should have been their Dokkan Awakening should have been. And then they should have easy these characters a year from now or a year and a half from now or something like that. Um, awakening them and then immediately easing them. It's just, it's stupid. It's folly. It's dumb. Asinine, moronic, dumb, 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 whatever you want to say, right? Um, and then the five fusion characters that needed awakenings. Kuliza, Selza, Chowman, Janembu, and Weirus all got Awakenings. Um, all of them seem a little mid, honestly. Um, it makes me wonder if an EZA is coming for them as well, which would make sense, since Karoli, Brapan, uh, Pandel, and Barlat all got their EZAs. I, I sort of think that's going to happen. If it doesn't... Uh, again, these characters are pretty close, right? With a little bit of changes, I think some of them could be fairly good, like Selza, Janembu, Weirus could actually be fairly competent units um, with an EZA. So, you know, we'll see what's sort of going to look like um, with that. Uh, so we have that. Again, we talked about the new category. Um, there's a new category right there. We can now buy unlimited flying Nimbus medals. This is interesting, right? Um, this makes me suspect, by the way, that uh, Goten and Trunks could potentially be the EZA for this main celebration rather than Super Vegeta or SCR Ultimate Gohan. Honestly, I think that sucks um, because the LR EZAs a lot of the times just don't really... They're they're uninspired, I feel like, is, is the word I would use for them. Um, like, I, the physical LR Trunks is definitely, like, runnable. You know, you know SCR Bro LR Broly is fantastic, but a lot of these LR EZAs, they just don't have a lot of care put into them. Um, but I do suspect this unit could actually be the EZA rather than Super Vegito and SCR Ultimate Gohan. Again, which sucks because those two characters... Are, I think going to be much more relevant in the meta once they get their EZA, and they're also going to be much more hype for people, right? Like, these two, uh, not the craziest, but here's the nimble me Nimbus medal. Um, so now you can get infinite of these for Super Vegeta, uh, Namek Goku, LR Bojack, and LR Trunks and Goten um, to awaken them. So again, this being a thing makes me think we're probably going to... Uh, like see some stuff happen with these characters now that we can infinitely purchase those with uh, battlefield currency um we have the new dragon ball story so remember there's like not like a story event but like the new like thing as part of version z what they are sort of doing is they're reformatting repurposing some of the main story arcs and just making it a lot better you know having like animations and stuff like that actually displayed uh in them right so you know they're, they're sort of like adjusting they, 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 again, they repurpose. This is already the existing Blacks, uh, you know, Black Star Dragon Ball Saga. They sort of, like, repurpose it into, like, one of these, like, better, like, more organized uh, story events. Um, all that's new with it, though, is a support memory. So, I was thinking that these were going to be super mega godly hype because they were going to be coming with free-to-play LRs, but they didn't add one to this, which is kind of a bummer. I mean, if this had a free-to-play LR in here, you know, like, we're, we're gaming. Like, that's a lot better. Like, I, they easily could have made, like, the Goku from second one, right, of the the series. Like, that adult Goku, he could have had, like, an LR. That would have been pretty cool, right? If this Goku right there had gotten an LR, um, I think they could have done that. Like, one of these sort of, like, free-to-play LRs rather than 
just like nothing, right? All, all they did was add a, a new support memory. That's it. So kind of a bummer there. Um, got a lot of, uh, you know, translations for a lot of the units. We got a, co a couple of different sources we could use. Um, so let's see. So for two turns from the start of battle, reduce the attack and defense of all enemies by 5%. Um, if there's enemies in the Goku family category, further reduce the attack and defense of all enemies by 5%. So it could be a 10% attack debuff for two turns. Not the craziest ever, but certainly could be solid um, in conjunction with other abilities, right? Uh, for example, if if you're using, I don't know, STR Omega Shenron, like if, if this is a stage you could use STR Omega Shenron on, and you're using him, and then you, you're also rocking this, right, where you'll be able to get the 10% debuff, then all of a sudden you have a 50% attack debuff on the enemies, right? Like, that's the way you'd probably want to focus on utilizing this, combining this with, a, you know, damage reduction characters, stuff like that, um, to really help put you over the level. Um, and then, of course, we got a lot of the new units here. So, Pinich, um, raising attack for one turn, supreme damage, lowers defense, three key, 150% attack, and even start a turn. Another 120 with on super, so he's solid now. And then an additional attack, which is a medium chance to be a super. Pinnich is solid. Not anything super crazy, not anything godly incredible or anything like that. Um, but again, I, I would just label him as solid. Um, Tekka, I think Tekka is definitely uh, also solid as well, right? Because, um, you know, he gets, what, 30% attack for one turn. Supreme damage, lowering defense, 150% attack and defense at the start of turn. Um, another 50% attack and defense if there's a crossover category ally attacking in the same turn. Um, he gives crossover category allies 25% attack and defense, which is pretty good. And then he has a 50% chance of two key and another 25% attack and defense for all allies. So running this guy on the crossover team, you have a 50% chance that he's just going to be dropping 50% support. So that is certainly an interesting little ability. I, I think Tekka is actually kind of an intriguing unit now, right? 50% support on a character that's not like, He's not going to be just like an automatic L, right? So, like, that's pretty good. Um, again, Pinnich is right there. And then that right there is Tekka. Um, then we have Chow Man. Chow Man, unfortunately, is still pretty bad. Sorry to break it to you guys. He does AoE, but he still loses 10% HP. So stupid. 80% attack, 160% defense at the start of turn. Gets another 60% attack on super attack, but it's not enough. And then uh, once only, he gets a 200% attack buff when HP is 50% or below. But it, it, he still, he's, he sucks. Sorry. Uh, Janembu stacks defense, which is good. Um, supreme damage lowers defense. 100% attack and defense start a turn. Uh, he gets another 30% attack and defense. It's extreme class ally attacking in the same turn. So, you know, more like a team like Transformation Boost or something like that. That's where you'd potentially want to run him. Uh, then he has a 30% chance to dodge. And then he also lowers attack, enemies attack by 30%. This is where, like, again, an easy A, and all of a sudden this jumps to, like, 50% right there. And, you know, like, like he, this guy could be interesting, and he stacks defense. So, Janembu kind of potentially could be solid. Um, he's not going to be the craziest, but he's not, this guy's not god-awful either. Um, Weirus, Supreme Damage greatly lowers defense. Like, are you kidding me? That's it? Stupid. Changes tech and int key spheres to physical. 120% attack and even start a turn. Medium chance to dodge to so 30%. When collecting five key spheres, then he gets 50% attack and defense when attacking. When collecting seven or more key spheres. Not really going too crazy about him there. Um, if the dodge was for free at the start of turn, sure. I don't know. Um, sells uh, supreme damage, great lowers defense, 100% attack and even start a turn. Covers 10% HP, which is good. Another 50% attack and defense of doing a super when HP is 50% or above. Like, these units are just sort of, like, middle of the road. Like, middle of the pack. Middling units. Tiensha, I did a showcase on him. He could do a little bit of damage, but his defense is really bad. Greatly raised attack for one turn. Lowers enemy attack. 100%, uh, 180% attack and defense start a turn. He gets 80% attack when doing a super. Um, and then he gets an additional attack, which is a medium chance to be a super. When HP is 80% or below. Um, and then the first time HP is 80% or below, he gets an additional 80% attack, high chance to crit. So, he does have that. Uh, Kuliza stacks attack and defense, which is good, right? So, again, Kuliza's got a little bit of stuff right there. 
Um, 100% attack and defense on super. Medium chance to perform an additional super. That's not the way we like it. We like, you know, additional with a medium chance to be a super. Um, and then he gets a 10% chance to crit, up to a max of 30% for each super attack performed. So, the stacking does give him value, though. I, honestly, like, a lot of these characters, like, you know, like, Tiensha, just give him defensive stacking, and at least it gives him more of a role, right, in some of these long events. It's very easy to just give them some shit like that and make them solid, right? Honestly, very easy. Um, okay, oh, okay, let's take a look at this. Okay, so... Great statement, one and two. Uh, lowers attack and defense. 150% attack and defense start a turn. High chance to evade, nice. Another 50% defense doing a super nice. Attacked enemies, attack and defense minus 20% for two turns. Special pose categorized, three key, 30% attack and defense. This is nice. This is looking pretty good. Because you're debuffing right here. You're debuffing right here. A high chance to dodge with extra defense as a support type unit. They're good. This is good. This is a good unit because they're a support and they've got a lot of the extra defense they need to not bring the team down. I like it. I like I like the uh, this is the Videl part of the card. I like this. It's pretty good. Um, and you could do the exchange of HP 58% or more starting from the third turn. So a very easy condition to activate. All right. So let's see what the Gohan portion does. 50% um, attack and offensive buff for one turn. Super attack effect. 158% attack and defense start a turn. Another 58% on super attack. An additional 10% attack, 5% crit chance for each special pose category on the team. I mean, he could do some, you know, he, he could have some solid stats, but to me, the Videl portion is is pretty solid. I think Videl is actually not bad. This is pretty good. Um, I see, like, she will crush special pose, super battle road. She'll destroy it. I like Videl. This is, this is a great super battle road unit right there. I like her a lot. Um... Gohan and Videl, okay. Raise attack. Dude, only attack? Oh my god. Alright, this unit's a fumble, I think, already. Raise attack for 9 turns, do supreme damage, blah blah blah. 158% attack and even start a turn. Another 20% defense with each attack performed, okay. High chance to perform up to 2 additionals. Each have a great chance to be a super attack. Interesting. You... Hmm. I wonder, dude, what is this unit going to look like on, like, turn 8 when they've triple supered, like, four turns in a row? Interesting. I, I'm curious for this unit. I, I actually, this is, I feel like this could be a free-to-play unit that's going to be putting up big attack numbers deep into events. Like, as long as you keep them on rotation and you get good luck with this. High chance to perform two additionals. I assume the way this will work is they have a guaranteed additional, and then the second one is the, where the 50% proc comes in, um, is how I assume that's going to operate. Okay. Um, hmm. If they had defense as part of this nine turns, oh boy, it would have been nuts. Um, then we have the Tech Supreme Kai. Supreme damage, raise super class allies defense by 30% for one turn. Okay. Wait, 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 wait. Let me take a look at the Supreme Kai. Uh, okay. Okay. I, I think it's, it's defense and attack. Well, whatever. We'll, we'll see. We'll see. But he gives it the super class allies defense by 30% for one turn. This is not great, by the way. Um, because typically a lot of these characters that like if this was on like Super Saiyan 3 Vegeta, it would be godly, right? Because he's gonna be in slot one, he'll super attack, giving defense to the rest of the team would be good. Um, but like a character like this, like I'm waiting for one of these characters to get this for two turns. Cause then all of a sudden they get really interesting. Because they're really strongly affecting the next rotation, right? Again, if it's like if STR Kid Boo was doing this who you're going to be running in slot one, right? Like, and he's giving all defense to the rotation. It That's fine. But they never give that effect to these slot one, like, super powerful Dokkan Fest and LRs. They give it to these, like, I, I was sort of like these, like, shitty, like, middling units. I mean, I, honestly, the, the Gohan and Videl, I, like, I, I, these two Gohan and Videl units are interesting for sure. But you guys get what I'm saying, right? They're not giving it to, like, LRs where it's like, this is really helpful. It's, it should be two turns. 
Um, one key, 30% attack in each for each realm of God category ally on the team. Superclass allies, one key, 20% attack and defense. Okay, okay. Guards as the... Oh, ho, ho, what? He's a god. Guards all attacks as the first attacker in the turn. Wait, how is Janemba written? I assume... Again, I'm just assuming... Um, that this is going to work like LR Janemba, where he will be able to guard prior to his attack. Yeah. Okay. Wow. Uh, Tech Supreme Kai. Okay, okay, never mind. Remember when I was just complaining about this two turns? This is actually good, because you want him in turn one. You want him in slot one, because he's guarding in slot one. You know, this is a pretty... This is, they're pretty... What the... Dude, I feel like they're pretty good. Hold on. Let me take a look at this character's, like, links and stuff like that. What the hell? I'm actually intrigued by this unit. This unit, it's stupid that this unit is only just Supreme Kai, by the way, because, like, all the Kais are a part of it. It should be, like, all the Supreme Kais or whatever. Yeah, it's already up. Yeah, it is allies attack and defense by 30% for one turn. It's got Cold Judgment. Realm of Gods, Blue Saga, Patara. On a Realm of Gods team, this unit is going to be really impressive. So you put them in slot one. They guard, and they're getting the guard before they attack. They're giving all allies defense, and then they heal. And they're supporting. Wow, this is really... I, I like this design. I like this unit a lot. Wow, okay. Um, wow. I do. I actually re- This is what I'm talking- Oh my god. I- Max, okay. Uh, when I- I think I was doing the Tientia video, or the Stelzo. I was doing one of these videos, and I was talking about this, right? So what they did with this unit was, it's like, you gotta run them in the Realm of Gods team, and you gotta run them in slot one, but then they're really freaking good. Or as a free-to-play EZA. Um... Dude, besides Goku and uh, Boo, obviously, great. Uh, the best units here are these three free-to-play EZAs. I think these free-to-play EZAs are way better than the shitty Awakenings and the the Pinich, Tekka, and Tiencha, like, EZAs. Tekka seems interesting, but these guys... The, the last three are the, the really intriguing ones. Tech Supreme Kai, um, Gohan and Videl, and then the Great Saiyan 1 and 2. This unit in particular is looking pretty solid to me. I'm very interested to see how this unit's going to look. Realm of Gods actually did, you know, does need some help, right? It's not like Realm of Gods is getting non-stop buffs anymore. Um, you do, again, have to run this unit in slot one, though. That's the only thing. Um, but they look pretty solid. So let me know what you guys think. Again, a very massive data download. We have a lot of stuff going on here. Uh, tons and tons and tons and tons of new characters. Um, keep in mind that after Goku and Boo's banner tonight... There's not going to be a banner with new characters until the seventh anniversary, about a month away. So, uh, definitely starting to get very hype waiting for that. Uh, let me know what you guys think about this data download. All these characters, Goku and Boo. We're going to be getting... I'm going to upload this video at 9 a.m. my time. So, celebration info will be going up an hour after this video. So, let me know what you guys think. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you guys next time.